Yo, what up? It's Aaron motherfucking Moses. And this <laughs> this video is about the, what is he calling it? The Easter Sunday Joy Lane Massacre. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, first of all, he's killing people. This guy, if you haven't seen it, I'll post the links. This guy's riding around killing people. Because he had a mental fucking breakdown, a homicidal mental breakdown, because he got in a little argument with his girlfriend on Friday or some shit. He claims to have killed 12 to 13, 14 people in Cleveland, Ohio. And he is very serious. He says that he's always been a monster. He he's blaming his upbringing. He's blaming some fucking woman that he's been with for three years. He gambled all his money away. He's a fucking like a social worker, a caseworker, some shit at a at a place. I, it says that it is a program that helps the youth stay off the streets and drugs and shit like that. And I think it's really. He keeps he keeps repeating. He he acknowledges that what he's doing is very weak. He says that he's on some sucker shit. Like, bro, you shouldn't let anybody get you out of your state like that. Like, to the point where you're killing people because of a, a woman, because of how somebody else made you feel. I'm gonna tell you like Cat Williams, bro. Like. It's called self-esteem because you're the only one who can really fuck with it. Nobody can make you feel anything about yourself that you don't that you don't want to feel, bro. Like just because I mean, I thought this when I was in middle school. When people I was always taught, hey, when people ask you a stupid question, give them a stupid answer. When people ask you a stupid ass question, don't give them any answer. Like it's nothing it's nothing but, I mean, this guy obviously didn't have any kids. He fucking, I mean, that's not obvious, but I, I would think that you would put your children over a romantic relationship and that, you know, if your kids die, I could probably see that happening. If you're, if you lose a child and you have a psychotic break and you start killing people and shit like that, but some female, I mean, yeah, okay, that could have been his fucking knew her all, they knew each other all their lives, and then they finally, after 30, this guy's fucking 37, after 37 years, fucking, they got together, did their thing, three years later, shit, he started killing people, but the whole thing is, bros, like, First of all, this guy's not taking any responsibility for his actions at all. Secondly, he's only doing this because he's a light-skinned nigga. So, shout out to everybody that's my complexion and darker. Team West Africa. And secondly, he's doing this because he doesn't have any expression. What he kept saying in, in this video is that... You know, people never took him seriously. Like, when he would try to tell people his problems, they would ignore him. They would blow him off. They would they would make him seem un unimportant. And what he does is he, he, or what he did, is he helped people. He helped people improve the quality of their lives. He helped people tremendously. He was a fucking caseworker. He was a, he, he serviced his community, you know, which is awesome he said that he had to listen to people's problems all day people's fucked up ass problems all day and he had to fucking basically be the therapy for people now when you do that type of work this is like me i'm not gonna turn this on me but i can only speak from what i know just when i do too many of these five dollar ten dollar skype sessions with the with the ponies when I talk to you guys on Instagram and Snapchat and <clears throat> Facebook and Twitter, DM you guys, and, and, well, not now, but when I used to do all of that, I do that still now, but when you have a lot of people giving you their problems, 
whether you're certified, whether that's your profession or not, if you have a lot of fucking family and your job is to fucking listen to people's problems and nobody wants to hear you, you don't have any mode, you don't have any way of expressing yourself. You don't have any way of, of, of escaping that. You don't have any source of therapy that is going to cause mental illness 100% of the time, some form of it. Addiction is considered a mental health issue. So, if I don't know how long he had this job, but so he fell into a obviously a codependent relationship with Tory Lane, and um, he he developed an addictive he he developed an, a gambling addiction and lost all his monies in a year. Probably fucked her funds up a little bit too. And he got pushed to the edge, whatever that was. There could have been some exchange of abuse if it's if it's a codependent relationship. There is is a good chance that there was abuse involved in the in the situation. So you got lack of expression. He's fat. He weighs two hundred and twenty five pounds. So this nigga has all kind of cortisol and his testosterone's fucked up. He's thirty seven. About to be near that midnight midlife crisis age. Uh, he has mommy issues. Probably didn't have his father. He's from... I don't know if he's from the hood. I, I shouldn't pass judgment on him as far as where he was brought up. But... Um, all these things... All these things built up one on top of another. And my whole point of saying... Of bringing it to me was... Yes, I have I have my ten dollar for thirty minute Skype sessions, and Voxer or whatever the fuck. I have my an Ubu. I have where you can contact me on any social media site, and at some point, pro- probably more than once, at some point, I was just <clears throat> taking in too much negativity, taking in too much solving people's problems, helping people, you know stray away from suicide helping people make these big ass life decisions and it was taking a toll on my mentality I'm not going to blame it on anybody because I love doing it but I was not handling these responsibilities and these duties appropriately I was not uh, going through the right therapy I wasn't writing songs like any little thing like this guy probably didn't have anything to fucking do so I mean, my message is, my message is, if you have, if you listen to people's problems or you have that person that listens to everybody's problems, not me, I'm straight now, I got the booth all set up, I got my own house, I can go in the bathroom, turn on the shower, put my face on the pillow and scream and punch pillows and do all kinds, I have never even done that, so I don't know if that would work for me, but I'm straight. You know, I can go to therapy if I want, um, shit like that. But if you have people like this, especially if you know that this person is in the service business, I'm not talking about they sell weed. I'm talking about if they are, if they are therapy for people, people who have boyfriends and girlfriends and people who have kids and shit like that expression, lack of it is it, it, it and it's so simple it's so simple to to hold emotion and it's so simple to misdirect your emotion or bottle it up and let it plant seeds of fucking mental illness like you like this fucking guy bro he seemed like a genuinely fucking nice guy i mean he tried to help he tried to do what he could he gave back to the community um he wasn't all rough and tough and that weird acting I mean, shit, if anybody tells you anything about him, they'll probably say that he was a nice guy, he was kind of funny, and all of this, and a good host, and all of this shit, but wherever it came from, this guy just didn't have any outlet. He didn't have anything that's therapeutic, as therapy to him. He didn't have any therapy. He claimed that when he 
talk to a lot of people and try to open up about his problems and they ignored him they pushed him to the side his he was in a codependent relationship he got addicted to gambling um he probably had a history of addiction before that whether it was food or you know alcohol weed whatever it was so my message is expression is life always express yourself if you know somebody's having fucking problems like listening to people for yeah you gotta you and I feel bad I mean this is where my problem was my problem was I don't like to tell people my problems I like to I like to convert them. I like to generate creativity with my problems. That's what I like to do. I don't like to tell people, hey, you know what? I had a shitty day. What happened, man? I I took a shit on myself, bro. I tried to make it to the bathroom, but I was smoking that square. I only had four more hits. As soon as I opened the door, bro, I dropped my phone, bent over to pick it up, and and I shit on myself, bro. I shit on myself, and it ran down my leg, and... That's just been fucking my whole week up. That's happened. Anyways. But when people... When you tell... When 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 people tell you their problems, you gotta do something about it. You can't keep that shit in your body. You have to pass... You gotta play negativity hot potato, bro. You can't keep that shit in. Either you're gonna pass that shit... You fucking, your mom, t- your mom calls you up. Yeah, your sister's sucking dick for fucking weed again. <gasps> oh my God, she's sucking dick for weed again. And then you call your friend, yo, what's up, bro? Yeah, I just found out my sister's son sucking dick for weed again. And then he's, uh, and then he has it. He's going to call you back with some bullshit again. He's going to call you back. Yeah, bro, last time I called you, last time we talked, you told me your sister was sucking weed for, man, love. and then you just got to keep the cycle going, bro. You have to, what you have to do is, what you have to do is, you know what you got to do? You have to get you a circle of creators. You have to get a, a whole bunch of artist friends because artist friends, most artists, their lives are fucked up anyway. They have a fucked up childhood. Their mom used to burn them with fucking the iron, like Penny from Good Times. Or they walked in to their fucking dad having homosexual sex. Or they fucking, all their dogs commit suicide and jump in the pool. Something. Something's fucked up about an artist. Something's fucked up about everybody. But in particular with artists. And they know how to handle that shit. You could tell that tell that shit to somebody who is an artist, somebody who is a creator, even if they make even if they're the director of independent fucking movies, a fucking photographer, or if they have a lot of sex, or if they go to therapy. Tell your problems to somebody who's already in therapy. No, don't do, don't take that advice because you might fuck them up a little bit more. I don't. I don't have time to be flying across the country to, for lawsuits and shit like that. So, and I thought like when I was saying that, when I was thinking that, that sounded like a great idea. Like, hey, he's already in therapy. You can just take advantage. Nah, don't do that. Stay away from. Stay away from telling them your problems that your sisters for some weed. But, anyways, man, um, expression, express. Expression is really important. People like music therapy. There's music therapy. There's art therapy where I was going to be an art therapist, actually, where they tell you to draw your emotions and fucking take the color red. What do you think the color red should be in? And I want you to draw a picture. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to visualize your sister for some weed. How does that make you feel? And I draw a picture and then look, we're going to use the color purple. And I'm there's forms of... Th- there's forms of therapy that there's expression therapy, there's exposure therapy, there's art therapy, there's all kind of therapeutic processes and methods that are totally fucking not weird. That are totally, uh, I don't know the fucking word for it, but terrestrial. I'll just use that word. They're totally, they're definitely within 
your standard when it comes to uh, god damn it just normal like they're normal like exposure therapy if you have problems if you have problems telling people your problems you go to the mall and your homework assignment is look just walk up to 10 people and say look uh how are you doing today yeah my girlfriend just broke up with me i just wanted to tell somebody that and then you just get used to that or you draw a picture you write a song you fucking scream into a microphone and release that shit you know there's hella different ways to express yourself so negativity bad emotions sadness sexual frustration is not an emotion but if you feel fucking if you feel shitty if you feel negative don't keep it in don't if you want to die like i th- think of it like this if you want to die of brain cancer, which is probably like one of the worst cancers to have, besides lung cancer. My granddad died of lung cancer, and he, I think he, like, suffocated on his own um, mucus. His lungs filled to the rim with fucking mucus and suffocated on it. I don't, I don't, whatever the fuck. But if you want to have any kind of cancer sicknesses, you keep, you expressing and releasing the negativity that you have is... Making it so you're preventing yourself from getting sick. The only reason that your body gets sick, that you get the flu and cold and all that shit, is because you are making it so your body has to get sick. That is the only way that it can respond from it being in certain environments. So if you do not want to make it so your brain has to develop mental illnesses because you are putting it in these fucked up ass situations. Get the negativity out, bro. Color, draw, write a motherfucker song, take a picture, write it down. I don't give a fuck. Tell people your fucking problems. You know, get some girlfriends. Get some girlfriends that are artists. And then you guys can paint and write and not do drugs. And do all kind of shit, and you tell them all your problems, and and then they'll write a song about you, and then they'll get famous off you, and all that shit, bro. Like no, like seriously, everybody needs somebody. That's why I. All right, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. So like, when they put you in solitary confinement, which I have been in, the whole type shit. They can't keep, well, they they can only keep you in there for a certain amount of time without letting you come out. Because the human, the healthy human brain needs to interact with somebody. We are made to communicate. We are communicating beings. Everything that we do is for survival. And communication is vital for survival. You need to be able to express yourself You need to be able to express yourself and for something living to respond to your emotions, to your expression, to your life. Even if it's a fuck. Like if you've ever seen I Am Legend, he went crazy when his dog died because he knew not only because he loved that goddamn dog and he was the only living being, but he knew that without that dog, he would start to go crazy. Even if it's a, I don't know about a plant, but even if it's a fucking rat, a fucking caterpillar, something that can respond to you being alive, something that can respond to your emotional state, something that can interact with you, even if it's somebody you fucking hate. That's why bullies exist, because they need somebody, because everybody around them, they just want to fucking rape and put their fingers in their fucking asshole. So they find somebody to respond to them in some kind of way because they don't get that wherever the fuck they need it. So anyways, man. Life is in the breath and the breath holds expression. Express yourself. Don't be fucking selfish. If somebody somebody has problems, man, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes the homies call me up. I'm like, yo, you know what? I got a baby and I wake up at seven, two hours before my body wants to wake up. And I have a lot of problems too, bro. Selfish. You don't have a baby. You don't have people in your space. 
crying all the time and trying to tell you about their days. I'm just kidding. I love you, baby. <laughs> but anyways, man. <clears throat> I said, it, man, it's Aaron motherfucking Moses. Shout out to Thought Star TV. I need you guys to visit the homie D. His new, he's actually my brother. I knew him for like 15 years. And I'm only, yeah, I knew him since I was in sixth grade. So you need to visit his YouTube channel. You will definitely enjoy it. It's called Thought Star. I think it's two different words. Type in Thought Star, um, We The Bang TV, or you can just type in Thought Star by itself. And it should be like the first or third one to pop up. Um, search that. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. All my links are in the description, website, and my email address. Those are the, the best ways to get in touch with me. It's Facebook. Uh, Facebook. I'm on Instagram every day. I'm getting back on my Snapchat shit, Twitter, and I'm trying to chill out on my Twitter. Uh, the best way to get in touch with me is through my email. Second best way is Facebook. I check my Facebook like once a fucking hour, if not every 30 minutes. And then, um, yeah, that's it, bros. Love each other. And let's spread that positivity. And let's pray for this, this fucking light-skinned nigga that's going around Cleveland killing people. God bless the day. Peace.